I am still working on LibreOffice and I was, I've just installed Papyrus icon theme to have beautiful LibreOffice themed and all. And I was looking over again all these extensions and uh, see if anything is um, clicking here, say, okay, that might be interesting. One of the things that I um, am surprised to see, which is interesting for maybe some of you having a company or having a, a documents that you want to supply to your clients or, or uh, people, right? That's it's normally we provide documents in PDFs, right? But there is also a possibility to provide it in EPUB. And EPUB isn't like a docx, but an, a something um, for a portable, readable Kindle-like machine. That's interesting as well, knowing that there is a possibility, an extension to write, to save actually your document to an EPUB file that you can then put online or, or distribute. Now this is just, I'm not gonna test it out, but I saw this one and I saw a language tool and I said, whoa, how many people have actually voted for this? So I better take a look at it. So that's the way your brain should work. If, if you see that people have been voting for this particular package, then maybe it is worth your time. So I'm installing three. And he wants to have this uh, JD key, remember, I've mentioned in the video, say, oh no, we need to have J Java. Um, now the question is, which one we do we want? So the default is one, open GDK, and the other one are really numbers. So there's a Java version eight, version nine, version 10. So I'm not really sure what to uh, use. So if you're not sure, you take the default, all right? So enter. So I'm not pressing one, two, or three, just enter, and then it's gonna be the first one, the default. And I see here it's number 11, by the way. So default is even bigger than, and, and more recent than 10. So that's a good choice that we made, but I had, did not know it in advance. So trust the guys and trust the default. Read any messages you see, you need to re-log on. Complete set of Java binaries, JavaScript support. That's installed. Okay, that's good. That's also installed. Since this is the very first time I ever installed this thing, I really need to read everything. This warning is okay. We see it all the time. It's just what it is, a warning. It's like a big package and I'm not sure what to get, what to receive actually. So language tool is installed. I wonder what it is. I go in here, I see we have a baobab. So it's interesting to know actually the names. So disk usage analyzer, no, it's baobab, right? That's the application name, like WinWord is an application name. It's not Word. Okay, that's up to date. Thank you, successfully done. I wanted to have a look at this guy again. <laughs> and then, so this um, language, let's see if we get it. There you are, state. This is the guy we just installed. It is not small. You see, if you put these guys, LibreOffice and that guy on the ISO, it's gonna be 300 megabyte more. It's 2.45 almost. So what do we get? I get stuff in the library, in LibreOffice, in the share, in the extensions. We get these things. And these things, let's make this bigger. So all the languages are here. All the languages, a lot of Russian and, and UK, UK here. This was China, I believe, ZH. Uh, well, a lot of things I really don't know what it is, but it's all languages. German here, Java stuff, morphology, properties, Canadian, Chinese, Danish, Russian. So your language tool, your package, and we are here provides us lots and lots and lots of data about the grammar because that's the point. The language tool should be a grammar checker for more than 30 languages. Oh, 
Okay. So what if we boot up writer? By the way, we have it. Uh, so we stock it here to keep in dock, so we can just click here. And you'll see the icon theme is changed. We've done that in a previous video. And we're wondering how do we test this, this grammar thing. I'm gonna speak bad English. Me thinks, like Yoda language, you know. <laughs> Me thinks the force is with him. Now, I'm of course in German, so we have here ignorieren and so weiter. So we have to tell, look guy, this is actually English, Control A. We are going for English this time. Um, bup, bup, bup. Where did I do that? Okay, English. That's better. Now, when does this grammar thing kick in? I don't know. I don't know, but it should kick in. And here we see something, me, me thinks. Did you mean I, he, she, or they? This is new, this is new, okay? So yes, it kicks in and uh, everything is set here. So yes, I meant I, I think. Now, I thinks is not working either. So grammatical problem, agreement, error. Okay, I think, I think the force is with them. So this might be also interesting guys. I know, I know at Linux there are some things on in French and in German, but I know it's, it's, we all talk English at Arco Linux. And sometimes it's not your, your native language and we get this broken English and we don't understand you. This could be a tool to provide your some, you some help so that you are writing correct, correct grammatical and also written a force with a Z because it sounds like it and hopefully, <laughs> no it doesn't kick in, hopefully you um, get a correction and say okay this is not uh, the correct English word. It does not seem to kick in. I don't, believe it exists in English but uh, he thinks it does so let's do a typo no it's not kicking in too bad anyway the grammar grammar that was the point here uh, the grammar was a, su a success and you can use this tool it will cost you some megabytes but it will work I've been playing around with the settings but it's something eludes me but the settings up here are what you're gonna need. Uh, Rechtschreibung, so F7 is the check of your spelling. And here you set whatever language you like. For your English here or German. So if I go to German, maybe it will kick back in because it's a bit strange that we can't have, uh, we can't write English in a German uh, LibreOffice, why not, right? Um, so this is already set, this is now set, and there is also for the whole the text, so to choose for a, a piece of the text for the whole text, that's what it says. And then, da, da, da. that's for to, to divide the words, so that's this, hun, no, no, this hyphen thing we've installed, and then we can say F7, check the spelling, and then everything is going to, to be checked if its spelling is okay. So I like, can have a, have a go and have a test. So when we start writing something, jeder macht Fehler, zum Beispiel, yeah. When we write, the, write here, everybody makes mistakes, then you see this red thing down here, and it says it shouldn't be, shouldn't it not be with a capital and there are other possibilities but yes then you remember oh yeah we need to make that a capital and that's better and then it's still green so what is this green thing so we have a an, an blank space at the end and we need to put it like this and what does it say now i think that's okay my friend i can't do a point 
Why can't I? Bitte löschen Sie das Leerzeichen am Ende des Absatzes. So I still have a, a, black, a blank space, he says. And it's true, I still have one. Didn't see it. Okay, fine. All right. So possibilities are there. It's uh, a little bit complex. You have to spend some time in it. But as usual, uh, things will work, of course. But it's, it's, it's normal that you need to spend time to get to know all the possibilities that are in here. It is a big application after all. All right, I'm out. Cheers.